first time today, which is pretty exciting. I've never been in a single engine plane before. I've only ever been in like a commercial airliner. And those themselves are still pretty small, like three seats per row. And so this will definitely be something new for me. I know, I've known for a while I wanted to be a pilot, but my finances haven't been quite in check to do so. And finally I have enough to get my private pilot's license and get that started. But I've never really considered, well I have considered flying planes, but not on a commercial level. My main goal is to fly helicopters. I'd like to be an EMS pilot. It's actually cheaper for me to get my private license through airplanes than if I were to do it through helicopters, because through helicopters is like double the cost. So what I plan to do is get my private pilot's license through flying planes and after that get my helicopter rating and save myself about seven grand and i have actually flown a helicopter before and that was a horrific experience i did this thing called a pilot induced oscillation so that's whenever you have the cyclic in hand and just the slightest little movement sends the helicopter basically the equivalent of a car swerving all over the road and it's really hard to get control of. Shut up! Yeah, it's supposed to be there at noon. Noon or three. Can't quite remember. But I figured. What? Okay. I just figured it'd be better to be here earlier than later. It's, this is not where I need to turn. Oh god. You stupid phone. I'm driving by the airport and airports are normally fenced in. Safety concern, whatnot. Continue on airport it's a picket airport. fence. <laughs> like nobody can't drive through a picket fence. And the other fencing around, there is some barbed wire, but that's only at the gate. <laughs> and, the other, and most of the other fencing is just like regular chain link fence that you'd have in your backyard in some suburban neighborhood. Shut up, I know where I'm at now. Ooh, I don't know if you can see. Probably not, definitely not. There's a cool twin engine plane over there. It looks like an old bomber plane. I don't know much about planes yet, but I plan to get there. Kind of looks like a B-52. I'm, I'm certain I'm wrong about that. <laughs> it's one of the old school bomber planes that I know about. Look at that. A picket fence around an airport. And you know it's for the airport because of that thing right there to signify the landing strip is within that direction. So that's awesome. And then I got this escort guy that pulled out in front of me, so that's cool too. He wasn't even escorting anybody. Decided to go to Wendy's and get a Frosty. Sounds like it'd be soothing for all this madness that's going on within my trachea. I'm no doctor either, so I don't know what that all is. Pull up, policeman. With your kid in the back, that's just cruel. I try not to eat fast food very much anymore because last time I came to a fast food restaurant, and this was like a month and a half ago, it was actually a Wendy's. I got their Sriracha Chicken Club. I was so excited because I like spicy food. And I pulled the longest hair out. I'll attach an image. Yeah, that's it. And ugh, it was just disgusting. I could not believe it. How did they miss that? Why don't they wear hairnets? Wendy's, wear hairnets. So I don't get anything from fast food places anymore unless I'm getting fries, because that's a little hard to mess up, or drinks, fries and drinks. I did go to Taco Bell recently, but I, I guess I can end my no fast food streak, but I really wanted to try that naked chicken chalupa. Chocolate or vanilla? Can I just get a medium chocolate frosty? 
Thank you. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, it's right there. I almost lost my debit card. Look at this. It's freaking splitting. This is like the fourth one I've gotten to. This chip reader stuff's madness. It's not safer. Thank you. Do you have a straw? Yeah. Thank you. I'm always the bad guy. Yo, clear prop. And then, clear it up. So that was a really cool experience. I definitely do plan to come back here for my flight training. The instructor I had, his name was Jason. I, that probably doesn't matter to you, but that's information for me to remember what his name was. Because he's, he's definitely somebody I'd like to go back to. He was very thorough, he had a very positive attitude, helpful wasn't too aggressive when it came to taking over the controls. I, I just think a plane would be a lot better to learn how to fly. It wasn't hard, as you'll probably see in my, in the video. 
the, I mean, at points you can just let go of all controls and actually enjoy what's going on around you, not like a helicopter when you have both your hands are occupied and your feet. You're just constantly doing something in a helicopter, which I still want to, I'd still like to know how to fly a helicopter and be able to do that. But I, I don't know, I think planes are more the route I need to go. I go home, apply for the financing, and hopefully I can come here once or twice a week, and soon enough, maybe have my license. Wish me luck.